on? No, 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 no. Oh, oh. Other people were I on. I think would be singing. singing because, I mean, I'm, I try to get her to sing, but um, unfortunately, <coughs> the only place she can sing well is in the shower. The other harmonics, but I've been doing it. I mean, I, I, I have a tendency I have to do karaoke, too. I, I sound a lot better when the music's really loud. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, I, I, she sings to Monty, and everybody, Monty basically loves her voice. But, I mean, I, I have no problem with it. I mean, she wants me to do more singing. The problem is, is I can't sing anything that isn't my material. And I can't write music. So, uh, and then, so she would have, I can't, I can create the music on a MIDI, but I can't write it. So virtually nothing that I have. I know, here's the funny part is, he can create it, can't write it. I can read it, but can't write it. I know, <laughs> no, but I do, I've been doing arrangements for all my life about, I, I hear the I hear the instruments in my head, and then I can place them around. I can sit there, you know, with the stuff and do music. You know, computers I love because before what I would do, I would, I would literally cut and paste. Somebody else would do the music, and I sit there, you know, I oh the horns. I think this section should be over here, and then I'd have a record. You know, recordings I loved. I mean, I was in the beginning of of mylar recordings. So I could sit there and I could, okay, I'd cut this, I cut this instrument, and then I put it over here, and then I cut, then I sit there and oh cut the God. tape. That's how I would do it. I would cut and paste mm -hmm. the things to make the arrangement come out. Because, um, but, you know, I, I can, right now I'm in, <clears throat> you know, I clear my throat, I'm in fairly good. When Irish eyes are smiling, they're smiling down. Smiling at you. I can, I'm, I'm a fairly decent voice, but I can get away with that because that song is not copyrighted. I can, we, we may start doing some pieces of stuff though. I mean, she does want me to sing more, so we, you it's know, good. you know, I'm not certain I could do. I'm a Yankee Doodle Dandy, born on the Fourth of July. You know, I wish basically it is copyrighted, which means you can't go any further than that. But uh, that, which is funny, it is not. The song itself dates back to the Revolutionary War, but the arrangement that you use is George M. Cohan, and the arrangement can get you in trouble. Ah. Mm -hmm. They can copyright the arrangement. So, but uh, I remember, it, I wonder every time, so like I know when I'm in good voice, when I tend to be. You know, more nasal. When I tend to be more tenor than I am baritone, then my voice is all right. But you know, so but, but I could actually it does have an effect on me too. Like I said, um, if I'm not when I was doing background music, if I'd show up, I could fake doing something else. You know, because I I would come in like the same thing I always did with dancing. I was always because I was never there. When I was doing the original thing, was I'd come in like a beat behind, a step, a half step behind. I would come in, you know, if you watch some of the things, you know, like um, uh, when it's Sir Stan and Pete sings, where I'm basically going to fill in, they're going, true love. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm right behind that first syllable. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, I'm going in with the rest of the things. But And I'm basically trying to tone myself down. And the same thing with the... Uh, my father was a member of the California Los Angeles Light Civic Opera. And I ended up doing a lot of stuff because he did, I did a lot of Sigmund Romberg stuff. So um, I earned, I, basically I went up and down the scale because I fell in for somebody also. But, uh, but it would depend upon, you know, uh, <clears throat> you know they, they, uh, here's a good one. I mean, you will not believe it, that, you know, how, 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 your, um, how your health is a big issue. I would, I, um, I would I'd show up for something, uh, somebody would be a baritone, and I'd show up, I would be a tenor, and in order, they'd screw my voice up so I could be baritone. They'd bring out an ice, a towel full of ice and stick it around my throat. Why? Uh, so that I would basically, it would cause my throat to get cold, oh. and then I would, you know, I'd go, you know, you go, Away out here we have a name for wind and rain and fire. I'd go baritone. They freeze, they basically, 
uh, make me sick. Uh, you know, uh, so that I would go from nasal metallic, which is tenor, to veritone. And they can actually, if they want, uh, they can manipulate you. Uh, you know, if they want you to be sick, they can basically put you in a room that is ungodly hot and overdress you in clothes. And you get sick when you're done, though. That's the problem. Mm. So, but to get to know more about this, you know, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's just my family. We make it 100. We're doing 111 years in the business as of this year, so. So, and until next time, this is Old Kim. And this is not a spring chicken. We're here yesterday, today, and tomorrow. And for more information, you can go to www.montebubble.net on the net and subscribe to our RSS feed. And wherever you're watching us, subscribe to us too. Follow our daily newscast in 3D. And thank you once again for over 40 million links on the internet.